After three weeks of intense efforts to protect and strengthen the promotion of human rights, on Friday, July 3rd, the 29th Human Rights Council sessions came to an end. Human Rights Council President Dr. Joachim Rücker gathered journalists for the last update before the final hours of meetings. He stressed that much had been achieved in the past sessions. Out of the 24 that have been adopted so far, 18 texts have been adopted by consensus and that is 75 percent. I think that's a, that's a good figure because it shows you um, that we are aiming at consensus if at all possible. As I always say, as much consensus as possible, uh, as much voting uh, as, as necessary. One resolution in particular drew much attention. Agenda item number seven is adopted. The UN Gaza report condemning Israel for its assault on Gaza in 2014. For the first time, the European Union voted in favor of the resolution that demands accountability in Palestine. This is the position of the Holy See that is, a few days ago signed an agreement, a comprehensive agreement with the state of Palestine and uh, as a sign, as a will to cooperate and contribute to a peaceful solution of the various conflicts in the Middle East. Only the United States voted against it. The great variety of issues were subject to resolutions that were approved, such as the human rights of migrants, the right to education and the non-discrimination against women. I think even this topic that sometimes go into an extreme position by claiming the right for any woman to decide on, on an abortion but uh, in general, this concern for the equality between men and women is a good, positive step forward. So uh, on balance, I would say that it's a slow-moving process, the defense of human rights. But with insistence and patience, and by insisting on the right values that should sustain the claim of rights, there is a chance to make a big improvement in the life of the world today. According to the president of the Human Rights Council, Dr. Joachim Rücker, the key is not only the adoption, but the following up, the implementations and results on the ground. Friday the 3rd, not only in the Human Rights Council's final session, but also outside, was one of the hottest days of July in Geneva.